which I guess I can tell you guys now, I'm not at the, at the unit anymore. I was stationed, my first duty station, you would call it, was at Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Um, you guys asked me a lot of questions or a lot of questions that have been repetitive, like I always say. Um, and I'm going to answer for you guys. So the fan is on because it's really hot. It's like 100 degrees out here. And I'm sorry if it's like super loud, but I can't. And also there's a different background because I'm not at home. Life update is coming soon soonish we'll see once we get through this craziness that's going on right now um but yeah let's get on to the q a okay so the first question is how tall are you so i'm five three and a half five four i like to say five four when i'm going in for height and weight because you know like the taller you are the more you can weigh um but i think i'm like five three and a half or something like that probably five four but no taller than five four for sure Someone says, I've also, I've seen and heard people going in single and coming out married and they're referring to basic training in AIT. Y'all, it is so true. I think it's more true for like AIT. I don't, I only know one pe person, two, one couple that went to basic and got married, but it, they went to basic and AIT together and they're married and they have um, a ch one kid or whatever, but they've been doing really well. Um, at least they got to know each other for a little bit longer. They didn't get, I think they got married pretty fast, but not, y'all, like, some people get married super fast. Like, um, I know in AIT, um, it was a hot mess. One, this, this one person, or this couple, or whatever, the girl was dating someone else in AIT, like, the first week. Mind you, our AIT is only, like, eight weeks long, right, by the way. And, um, that's the first time they ever met each other. And... The girl was dating this other guy or whatever and then like I don't even know the whole time span of when they broke up or whatever you want to call it but then she started dating this other guy and then like literally like I don't know that I'm pretty sure it was like a month after we graduated um they got married and they didn't even get stationed in the same place like it was a hot ass mess like um but they got married or whatever and they had a kid and then they're getting divorced or they're already divorced divorced and they're only like 18 years old y'all do not do that. Do not do that. Don't don't do it. Don't don't do it. Your battle boo is usually not forever. Like seriously, don't do that. That's really stupid. Like super stupid. But yeah, it happens. It happens all the time. I just I cannot believe people do that. You only knew this person for eight weeks. Like. Anywho, do a lot of people go in knowing how to do push-ups or sit-ups? I'm joining the army soon, but I cannot do push-ups. I'm working hard. I'm working so hard, but I am worried for PT requirements and being behind. I always tell people that the physical part is the last thing you should be worried about. It's the mental, mental part that you should really be worried about because you're always going to be doing PT. You're always going to be getting smoked like literally 24 hours a day like well except when you're sleeping but even so sometimes you get woken up out of your sleep and you get up too so um pt is the last thing you have to run everywhere you're doing push-ups all the time you're doing sit-ups like some form of setup all the time like the last thing you should be worried about worry about the mental part being away from your family and trying to figure out like how to get used to a new environment and being stressed out all the time like that is what you should be worried about. Uh, meeting your graduation requirements, um, all that stuff. Like, be worried about that, not PT. Trust me, your drill sergeants will get you ready. They will get you ready. Okay, did you graduate? Did you graduate college before enlisting? No, I I joined when I was I think. When in the middle of college, I think I was a sophomore at the time. I was 19 when I, that's crazy. Oh my God. I was 19 when I um, joined the military. Is this lighting good enough? Let's go up one notch. Um, I was 19 when I joined and I think I was like the end of my sophomore year, like the semester, the last semester of my sophomore year. I enlisted, um, it was like April, I think April 27th. Yeah, April 27th was um, when I enlisted and then I went to basic training. Uh, like literally like I think it was 
June? Was it June? I, I don't know. Such a long time ago, y'all. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I went, I was, I did it in the middle of college and then I just graduated from college. Um, if you guys don't know, I took like a year off of school, um, because of like military training, not because of basic training, but just like other stuff that I, like AIT and stuff, I had to take a, a year off. Um, which is crazy. I should have just taken like, I should have never gone back to school after I graduated basic. I literally graduated basic and then went right back to school, the worst mistake ever. Um, but then I ended up missing school anyway because of AIT. Um, so yeah. That was a long time ago, but I graduated finally this year. Finally, got my bachelor's degree. Um, uh, insert a picture here if you guys want to see. Okay, what is the next question? Did oh, that was the same one. Are you are you allowed to keep the sports bras you bring? Um, as long as they match the colors and they're not like lingerie, like you should be fine black white and neutral that's what it was when i was in i don't know how it is now but that's what it was when i was in did did they allow you to wear shoes you bought at sill no uh, we were not allowed to we had to we had to buy um go to the px and or like the little shop at that the trainees are allowed to go to um and they fitted your feet for shoes and they they're ugly but like they're super comfortable but then like Towards the end, they let us wear the shoes that we um, brought. I don't know if they were trying to make money off of us or what, but I ended up wearing the shoes throughout the whole cycle, so it didn't really matter because my shoes that I brought were just for, they were just like cute, like walking shoes. They weren't, they weren't running shoes, so. But they're comfortable. They're ugly, but they're super, super comfortable. Um... Is this the same for the British Army? If not, does anyone know what to pack for British basic training? Girl, I do not know what to pack for basic tra bas British basic training. I barely knew what to pack for America's basic training. <laughs> um, hopefully, um, it works the same way in the U.S. Um, that you guys have a recruiter. And the recruiter should tell you like what to do. So. And if not, if you show up with nothing, they'll give you something. I, I, I promise you that. Can you wear sweatpants and sweatshirts? Um, I don't know what this is referring to. If this is referring to the MEPS, no, you cannot. Um, when I went to the MEPS, I think I wore jeans and like just a regular shirt and you have to tuck it into your pants and you have to wear closed toed shoes. But now, I mean, it's been like five years since I went to the MEPS. So, um, yeah, it could be so different now. Um, I don't know. I went, I went to... I think I, I went back in 2000, yeah, 2015 I enlisted. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's been a few years, so I, I don't know how it works now anymore. I'm sure the rules have changed that, like, you probably have to be more modest now anyways, but I do not know. Someone asks, are you joining the National Guard or the Army? I always get this question a lot because it can be really confusing to people who aren't in it. Okay, so I joined the Army when I enlisted. Um, there's a branch, there's brand, There's different branches of the military. Army, um, Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard. Coast Guard, I think it's technical. I mean, it's a branch of the military, but I think it's like a branch of like something else. It's, it's a very small organization. Anyway, um, but the main four that people think of is Army, Navy, uh, Marine, and Air Force. I joined the Army, and then there's different components of the army so there's regular army which is active duty national guard and reserves and i joined the national guard um it's also really confusing people because they see me like always like when i'm at work like i'm always at work and i'm in uniform that's because um the the unit that i came from which i guess i can tell you guys now i'm, I'm not at this at the unit anymore i was stationed my first duty station you would call it was at fort gordon um in fort gordon georgia and um like we just i don't know i was always like on active status like all the time i was always on orders like always so like that's like where i made the a lot of my money other than youtube but i made a lot of my money through being on orders and stuff so it really worked out um because i was able to go to school and work you know make money at the same time pay my bills all that stuff um so yeah I, there's like i said there's different branches or different components of the army so the component 
was National Guard, so I joined the Army National Guard. So <laughs> answer to the question is both. <laughs> I joined the Army and the National Guard. Um, I'm on the pill. Would I have to take my own supply? And the answer to that is yes. I was told that I could go to the doctor and they would give me, give it to me, but that wasn't the case. Um, but luckily I brought, I think I was on the, yeah, I was on the pill when I went. Um, and I brought my own supply and it was perfectly fine. I kept, I got to keep, keep my medication and... It was fine. How long do you have to shower? So you do get an hour of personal time every single day. Um, so that gives you time to shower and all that stuff. So This is a kind of a weird question, but I'm going to answer anyway. Someone said, I'm 12 years old and I want to join the army or any branch in the military. And I have always wondered if you had to use the bathroom or something while training or in battle. Are you able to go... Or do you have to wear a diaper or something? Um, usually if you're out doing training or something, there's always like a porta john or some type of bathroom. And um, there's an out in battle and stuff. Or like if you're out in the field, like, I mean, there's plenty of room out in the field to go to the bathroom. Um, plenty of woods. But there's always a porta john. Um, but as far as battle and stuff, if there's like being deployed or something, if you gotta go there's a reason why and there is no bathroom there's a reason why you bring two things of clothes um like with you <laughs> i mean like we've had plenty of times where people have peed on themselves because like there was no bathroom and like we you just like they peed on themselves like i, I mean i don't know how else to explain it like i know um in basic training when we were qualifying or whatever and the guy was trying to qualify like he was trying but he had to go to the bathroom so bad he ended up peeing on himself and it really wasn't a big deal because like I don't know, it just wasn't a big deal. Drill Sergeant was like, this is why you bring a change of clothes. Like, he wanted to stay out there and qualify because it was taking, like, sometimes you just suck one day and you just can't qualify. Like, it just happens. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened. And he just had to change the clothes. Like, change your clothes and baby wipes and boom. But no, you don't wear a diaper. I mean, if you wear a diaper, that's your business, but... And the last question is... Funniest, scariest, and weirdest thing that happened in BASIC and AIT? The funniest, oh, it's been so long. The scariest is one time, um, it was like the day before we were going to, um, like we could wear civilian clothes, so of course we're gonna try to look cute. And I was doing my hair and it takes me like two hours to do my hair and it was already late. And technically lights out was like 10 o'clock or whatever, I think on the weekends, I can't remember. But I was in my friend's room and it was like 12 o'clock y'all. And they didn't do like, um, you always have to check, like, your your platoon sergeant always checks, like, to make sure, like, everyone's in the rooms. And, of course, I wasn't, and they didn't check that night. And one of our other friends was in there, and then she got out to go to her room to go to sleep. And the drills, or the platoon sergeant was like, hey, what are you doing? Like, she was like, oh, I was just going back to my room. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to stay in here. So I ended up staying in the room um that night with no blanket and well I think they gave me a blanket but like I wasn't in my bed or anything I was like that was kind of scary back then that was scary but um another scary thing jumping off a treadwell tower was pretty scary um funny there wasn't really that many funny moments in it in basic to be honest I mean sometimes the drill sergeant would say things that were funny and they would make you laugh and then you get fucked up for laughing they did it on purpose. Um, scary. Basic is more is stressful anyway. So it, like when you first get there, you're gonna be scared of like everything because you're afraid to do something wrong. Funny. I'm pretty sure there's funny things, but I just can't think of it because it's been so long. Um, Ant was funny all throughout. Like everything was funny. Like you're more you're you just have more freedom. And it's just fun. Like um, yeah. So. That is it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.